When I was 48, I blacked out and my husband took me to the hospital. I had been having headaches, I had been having um, fatigue, nausea, dizziness, um, just, just felt really ill, um, kind of like I had the flu or something. We went to the hospital and the doctors uh, did a CT scan and thought they saw something, so I had an MRI. And because of the white matter lesions that I had on my brain, I had so many of them, and it looked like some of them could have formed perpendicular lines, which is indicative of MS, they told me that I had MS. And uh, when I first went to see a neurologist after that, um, he looked at my, my MRI and watched how I walked so easily into his office and could, could, could do quite a bit physically and questioned that the MS and um, he really felt that there was something else because with the amount of lesions in my brain I should not have been walking. So there are many diseases that can mimic MS. Catacel is just one of those, but it is now on the list of conditions that doctors should rule out before they make a diagnosis of, of MS. And um, Catacel patients and Catacel organizations are really um, dedicated to getting physicians that information that to, to look a little further and um, to do spinal taps to look for lesions in other places and if, if they really aren't sure that MS is a diagnosis to order a genetic blood test because it could be something like Catacel.